Okay. So apparently I stopped recording at some point. Um, but I have the cable connected. I don't have a lot of controller uh, power left in one of my controllers. So that's unfortunate. But let's let's go to link. And we're going to launch. I assume this is how you go through it. Okay. I'm going to go to desktop. And there's a couple things to check here. So first we're going to open Steam. Open. Hopefully still controlling or recording. Takes a second for Steam to open. My computer, uh, well, good enough to run what I needed to run, isn't the fastest. Okay, so here we are in Steam. All good. Um, I, it's not Borderlands 2 that I want to have open, so let, let's just minimize this for now. I just wanted to have it open. Okay. What? I've updated Steam agreement. Oh, okay. Cool. Close window. Okay, so here we are. There's Steam. Here's uh, Borderlands 2. I don't want to open that just yet. I want to open instead Steam VR. And we're going to launch it. I can play Borderlands directly without having to launch this first. But there's a reason that I want this open first. We want to go to the uh, the home room. This, this room. First. Okay, I'm going to get up a little closer there. What I need is to press the left, left Oculus button. Okay, and we're going to go down here to Steam VR settings. There we go, VR settings. From here, you want to find controllers. Oh, yeah, it's controllers. Very good. And show bindings on the controller, or you can test your controller, you can manage, you can edit. I'm not going to edit, but I want to show you the, the binders, right? There's that. And to get rid of that, you can close. There we go. Got rid of that. Uh, it shows you what bindings Steam has for your controllers. Manage controller bindings. Okay, so your active controller is the Oculus Touch. And the binding is the default for Steam Home. But what you want is the bindings for Borderlands 2 VR. So I need to go through and find the game. There it is, Borderlands 2 VR. And so I have a custom binding going on. For that, and I have chosen the uh, Mitzi binding for Borderlands 2 VR. You don't have to choose one, you can try to use the defaults, but I find that the custom binding for Mitzi, the one that I show in the video that I'll have replied to here, um, it's later on in that video, but it is there. I show which binding in that I use. It's like maybe two thirds of the way down after I do the gameplay directly after that okay so you want to make sure that you have that enabled that you're using the oculus touch controller in that setting okay home we're going to open up borderlands 2 okay so we're we're here now where we've gotten to the splash screen for it where you can play there is a settings cogwheel here just underneath your name to the right at the right of the splash screen and we're going to go to settings borderlands 2 vr uh, let's see properties i think it is okay general updates Files controller. There we go. Controller. 
So here, I can't get close enough to it because of my physical space and the length of my cable. But you want to have the... I have the Xbox controller enabled just because sometimes I use the Xbox controller. But, fun fact, um, if you're using virtual desktop, it's basically marking an Xbox controller, converting it to your Quest Touch controllers. So it's not a bad idea to have it connected. It only, it only does anything if you have them, an Xbox controller, connected with Borderlands 2 VR. But this generic controller, you want to have that enabled. Because that is your, that are your, that's your Quest controllers. So you want to have that going. If it's not enabled, enable it. Um, I'm pretty sure that is a selection that you find here. And if it's not, you might be able to use Manage. Okay, and I've got default settings here. You could choose Oculus. Or no, that's Steam input. Enable Steam input. Cancel. So default settings is what you want to have here. Those are the two things that I would check first. And because what seems to be happening... Okay, let's quit out of here. If you don't open Steam VR, it's really hard to get to this particular menu. So if, if you know how to get to this menu right away, then uh, then great. You've, you've saved yourself a step. Okay, so let's, uh, let's power off here. Exit VR. <coughs> that just means exiting Steam VR. Confirm. Okay, so if you're used to just starting up... Thank you, Steam. If you're used to just starting up from your your page without having to open that, and you just go directly to, to Borderlands 2 VR, either from your desktop directly or from opening Steam first, uh, this is where I'm going to suggest that you open up Steam VR and actually go to those settings. Um, because while you can certainly open directly from your desktop... I don't know why my desktop isn't showing here. <laughs> it should. Oh, it's because this is uh, taking over the screen. It's because I have Steam open. That's why. Um, well, I don't need to show you my desktop, actually. Uh, desktop is a desktop. I'm sure you know what that looks like. I suppose I could just switch to it real quick. Oh yeah, and I've got a, a software update apparently, so I guess I'll do that because uh, seems like a handy thing to do. Let's just check the controller situation here in the Steam menu. Guide button focuses Steam. Enable Steam input for Xbox controllers. PlayStation controller, I don't have that enabled because I'm not on PlayStation. Input for Switch Pro, I don't have that on. Enable Steam input for generic controllers. There we go. That also needs to be ticked on. If it's not, make sure it's ticked on. Turn off controllers when exiting big picture mode. I don't think that really has a, a large... Gamepad shutdown timeout. I, <laughs> I hit something on my... Uh... Yeah, I don't want that at all, actually. Let's just close close that. Um, back to this. Here we go. Uh, turn off the controllers. Big picture gamepad. It's because I'm too close to my toolbar here. Xbox extended feature support driver. Interesting. I have that installed. 15 minutes for the controller sh Gamepad shut down. Okay, that's cool. Desktop layout. Okay. So yeah, the only thing we really need to, to worry about here is uh, that you have the generic 
selection for the X for the Oculus Quest controllers or Meta Quest controllers. So generic controllers have make sure that that's on. And whether or not you use an Xbox controller would uh, designate whatever else you might want on. So I'm going to disconnect the link because I think I've showed you everything that I can. Okay. All right. That's a hard way to disconnect the link, but at least I can see now that I am in fact still recording. I have a splitter here that disconnect that. Okay. So, gosh, I have a lot of stuff I need to filter through there. Um, that's using the Quest Link with the cable. And hopefully that gives you a couple places to check. What it seems is happening is that Steam isn't recognizing your your controllers in the Borderlands 2 game. And so it's it's uh it's reverting back to allowing that to be controlled by your uh, Oculus Quest desktop. Whether or not there's something in Oculus Quest app itself, I will uh, double check. But when I went through those settings, I didn't see anything that said, you know, don't use these buttons when you're using Steam. Now, if you're not connecting to Borderlands 2 through Steam, then I'm not sure. Um, all right. I don't know what launcher you would be using to play Borderlands 2. So I'm assuming that you're using Steam. Oh, yeah, my battery's really low on this one. Um, turn that off. So I hope that this gave you some, some tips on where to look and see if any of that helps. I wish you luck. And uh, let me know. If you can refine your question down anymore, like maybe, hey, I'm not using Steam or these are the apps that I'm opening before I actually launch the game. What are your steps for launching the game? Um, I tested these controls in Borderlands and did, you know, I pressed the left Oculus button with the uh, custom layouts that I'm using for the controllers and it correctly went to my menu or my settings menu, the main menu. Um, one press for one and then press it again to get to the in-game menus. Okay. Good luck, bud. I hope this helped. Bye-bye.